Gosh, the atmosphere here is so creepy and unsettling. Even... Ah! Ah, yikes, they scared the life out of me. Ah, why are there so many puppets at the ticket office? What? Ugh, you're so annoying. Stop scaring me. Are these puppets part of the stage setup? Even so, it's so eerie that the entire front hall is empty. Something feels off. We're in the right place, right? There's no other grand theater in the dreamscape. So Sunday's messing with us? He said we'd have a final showdown on the stage, but why is there no one here? My apologies for the delay, March 7th. <sighs> you scared me! Where are you now? I'm waiting for you behind the curtain. Following the Asdana tradition, I invite you to enjoy a stage play in three acts before the festival begins. History is a mirror reflecting the universe's true essence. Let's use this opportunity to delve into the rich history of Penacony and the eons. Within it, naturally, the future takes shape. Let us commence with the dawning of the world. After the Dusk Wars, Darkness veiled the sky, and chaos consumed the earth. Enna the Order emerged, destined to restore all existence. That marked the first day. They gathered nebulae and forged them into picks, thus creating a grand lyre with black and white keys. Strike the white keys, and the sun rose. Strike the black keys, and the moon rose. And so, the cycle of day and night arose. That marked the second day. Sunday's inner world. Perhaps this so-called stage play is created with his abilities. This act is named Ode to Prisoner. Given the atmosphere here, I believe it's about Pentagoni's past. I thought things were finally looking up as I managed to dodge prison during my recent trailblazing expeditions, but now it looks like I'll be back behind bars again. I genuinely wish to avoid a violent clash with my esteemed guests from afar. Therefore, I've arranged three acts before the situation becomes irreverent. Where shall we start our narrative? Well, let's start with the time when Penacony was still a frontier prison. Where shall we start our narrative? This place was 2147 AE, a prisoner named Hanunu ignited a struggle for liberty and emerged triumphant. IPC referred to it as the War of the Frontier, while the Asdanians dubbed it the War of Independence. Shattered the cage of civics. 
It's true that Hanunu was a legendary hero, but it must be acknowledged that while he bestowed freedom upon the prisoners, he didn't the three nameless stayed on the planet, endeavoring to spread the tenets of Trailblaze throughout the frontier prison. Alas, their efforts proved futile. Once again, as Donna was engulfed in war, this time the enemies originating from within, the prison remained prisoners for the rest of their lives, fighting for freedom rather than living for it. I hope you like this land of freedom on a scorched earth. As you can see, their sentences have long ended, and the IPC guards have long been expelled. Yet, these prisoners remain enslaved not by external forces, but by the confines of their own minds. Freedom permeates every corner, except fragile souls. It gives solace only to those who believe in its existence. Prisoners, this is my order. Learn the essence of freedom, and teach your fellow prisoners to fight for their lives. Why do we have to fight while enjoying the show? For I desire not only your enjoyment, but also your assistance in its completion. Hope you're prepared. Let's go. Now, I have something for you. Perhaps you humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Rules are made to be broken! <laughs> Just a little something, and nothing of it. Much better. Time? <laughs> Time for an open. <laughs> In the name of let a will forged in ice never falters. You've got a lot of nerve. Next time, I have something. You won't get away. This ends. Let's make. It. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. This ends here. Let's go. Next time. Time for an open. A will forged in ice never falters. Rules are made to be broken. Let's make it the quick. Name of Len. A will forged in ice never falters. I have something for you. Let's go. Now, time. time for an open. Let's make it quick. Hope you're prepared. I have something. Let's go. No one can restrain you anymore. You are free. Thus concludes the first act. Amidst a raging war, 
The Frontier Prison headed toward becoming Land of the Exiles. This must be how Panacone was constructed. With the aid of outsiders, the prisoners were finally liberated and established the Land of the Exiles. However, it appears that Sunday aims to convey the spiritual plight of the prisoners more than the physical aspects of imprisonment. Uh, this show is a bit too... literary for my taste. But the battle part is quite easy to understand. Anyway, we've arrived at the exit. Let's go! These puppets... Where are they guiding us this time? They transmuted streams of stars into inked nibs, creating symbols to be pronounced and counted. They molded stardust into flowing rivers, assigning the righteous upstream and the unjust downstream. Thus, all things were marked, and the world learned to discern between good and evil. That marked the third and fourth days. Look! Another frame! Ode to Fool. This must be the second act. The surroundings are different from before. The stage decorations look a bit tidier now? Behold the ensuing tale, a struggle for power. Panacone witnessed the ascent of the seven major lineages. Tree, grass, flower, bird, beast, fruit, and insect. Peace never truly graced Land of the Exiles. The history in this era is rich and intricate, so please allow me to present it in allegorical form. Welcome to this mansion, dear Alice. Land of the Exiles was in disarray, besieged by both internal and external perils. Though the seven major lineages appeared united on the surface, each harbored their own ambitions, leading to ceaseless conflict. The Black Plum family was the first to fall. They withered away in the White Desert event, orchestrated by the Alfalfa family. The leader of the Alfalfa family sought to defect to the IPC, trading freedom for survival. However, his eldest son slew him in the name of righteousness and ascended as the new family head. Only when Gopher Wood led the family to Land of the Exiles and earned recognition from all five major lineages did Panacone earn its new name, the Land of the Dreams. Dear outsider, I beseech your aid in purging this mansion of the poison spread by the lurking instigators. Want us to help you? What do you need? I wish they could regain their reason and cast away the shackles of hypocrisy. This is the second act. Looks like it's about Panacone's journey to becoming the land of the dreams, during which the family plays a crucial role. But this new master this seems like a bad guy to me. Don't you think? Perhaps this is the truth Sunday is trying to express, if you read between the lines. The Harmony changed Panacone just as the guards once did. Looks like we've gotta help those 
Guys kneeling down over there, calm down a bit. Right? Either I shall... Without her mouth. Master is no longer... Master is no longer... Once. My former master. Master! Master. <laughs> I shall sing for my... Thank you, dear outsiders. My servants have regained their sanity. Heed me, one and all. Your former master shall not return. It is through righteousness and unwavering support for one another that we shall attain true perfection. Cast aside the veils of hypocrisy and embrace one another. Get ready. Looks like another fight is about to begin. You won't get away. Is that all? This ends here. Let's go. Next time. Time for... Is that all? This ends here. Let's make it quick. I have something. Hope you're prepared. In the name of Len, a will forged in ice never falters. I'm okay. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. You won't get away. <laughs> Next time. Let's make it quick. Perhaps you humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. My gratitude. This is our chance. This Alas, they remain but slaves till the very end, with the illusion of freedom. Thus concludes the second act. Amidst an illusory harmony, Land of the Exiles charted its course toward becoming the planet of festivities. This is how Peniconi fell under the family's control. Since the arrival of the Harmony, the Land of the Exiles has undergone dramatic changes, not all of which have proven... beneficial. This guy really loves dramatic scenes. Bet he comes from a whole lineage of stage performers. Is that all? They used the planetary rings to establish the law, forging a code of conduct among the masses. 
A grand lyre with black and white keys served as an instrument, while symbols of articulation and numerical notation took the form of musical notes. The downward flowing river became a melody, and the canon of law dictated the form. Thus, all mortals found their unique place within this symphony. That marked the fifth and sixth days. This guy is really into these puppets. And the atmosphere here is completely different from the previous two scenes. This is the concluding act of this play. I have showcased the past and present of Penacony, hoping that my desire for change resonates within you. Without a king, who and now, I shall reveal its future to you. If the people were kings, we will make choices on it. We shall support you, protecting the weak and standing against. we'll need to complete the story ourselves, just like we did before. So, do you think their mind needs tinkering or something? for my negligence. I forgot to inform you that the final part was scripted long ago. Let our previous king recount it to you. Now it is time for the final rite. Prepare for battle. Looks like we'll have to fight again. Descending from the infinite spiral surface, I reverse towards the future with measured steps. No need to remember. For the contours of my mind shall be subjected to the power of experience. Hope you're prepared. In the name of let a will forged in ice never falters. Let's go. You won't get away. I have something for you. Perhaps you humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Let's make it quick. I have something. Let's go. Next time, you won't get away. I have something for you. Ah! This ends here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> time for an over. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hope you're prepared. In the name of Landa, a will forged in ice never falters. Uh. 
Let's make it quick. Rules are made to be broken. Ha! Not next time. In the hushed expanse of a nocturnal reverie, I leave faint traces behind. No need to remember me or to recall the essence of dreams. What is mine shall wane, while you shall transcend its delicate nature. This is the final scene. It's much more straightforward. He wants to expel the harmony and establish an empire based on the order. Let's go. Once this stage play concludes, it'll be time for the main event, the Charmony Festival. meaning, perfecting all things in the heavens and on earth. Then, they rested from the labors of creation. Yet, all beings cried out to Enna. Under the banner of the Order, you have defined all things in the cosmos. But this made us realize that we are but puppets in your hands. Thus, on that day, all beings united and cast the Eon into the abyss of oblivion. This grand theater looks totally different. Is this the power of the Order? Everyone, get ready. This could be a tough battle. That marked the seventh day. Cheers and chants reverberated in the ears. I'm with you! That concludes everything related to the Order. What are your reflections on this, my dear guests? Nevertheless, this is but a trivial blip in the annals of galactic history. What truly matters is the course this river shall take in the days to come. You've arrived at the perfect moment. The Charmony Festival is about to commence, and it would be a shame if you were absent for the Harmony's prologue. Allow me to extend my warmest welcome once more. Welcome to Penacony Theater, the very core of the Sweet Dream, the abode of the Stellaron, the grand stage of the Charmony Festival, and the very place where the future of Penacony shall be determined through conflict. It hides behind the curtain. Or rather, it is the theater itself. However, if you want to see it, you must display faith equal to its immense power. True goodness can only be achieved through faith. Allow me to point out that falling into a permanent slumber is not happiness. Especially when those people are driven by someone else's will in their sleep. Do you still believe that the Order only seeks to control the universe as their puppet, Himeko? No matter how perfect your vision of paradise may be, a cage remains a cage. People will never achieve true happiness in a world like that! They would just be toys for the Eon! <sighs> it seems you have misunderstood my intentions. Allow me to clarify. My desire is not to resurrect a fallen Eon, or become one myself. 
My sole objective is to create a paradise free from eons, where the Order ensures the dignity and happiness of all humanity. A paradise exclusive to us human beings. That's not the case. If people are to live with dignity, there must be nothing and no one above them. In your so-called paradise, you would be the one reigning supreme. <laughs> Looks like we won't be able to convince each other. Now that our conflict has been destined, let's unveil our paths and reveal to the universe the true path. However, before the prelude to the future begins, please take a moment to ponder the questions I've posed. Is darkness equal to daylight? Are sinners equal to the righteous? <laughs> if you are born weak, which god should you turn to for solace? This ends here! Is that all? You've got a lot of nerve! Nap time. You won't get away. This ends here! Not I have something for- ha! Hope you're prepared! In the name of land- A will forged in ice never falters! This ends here. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Rules are made to be broken. You won't get away. This is our chance. Time for it. Let's make it quick. Not even nap time. Time for an overhaul. Hope you're prepared. Is that all? It'll heal. I have something for you. This ends here. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters! Naughty child, nap time. Perhaps you see humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. This ends here! Let's go. You won't get away. The stars are made to be broken. Get away. 
Naughty shot nap time. I have something for you. You won't get away. This is our chance. Hope you're prepared. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Much obliged. In the name of Len, a will forged in ice never falters! Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Is that all? <laughs> Time for an overhaul. <laughs> Let's go. You won't get away. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> you won't get away. This is our chance. <laughs> this ends. <laughs> time. <laughs> Let's make some. I have something for you. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Let's go. You're prepared! It yields in the name of Len! A will forged in ice! Never falters! Is that all? Let's make it quick. I already know your decision. I now permit you to gaze into the sun. On these 107,336 stones, the almighty and powerful strings of harmony are at my disposal! The Supreme Tuner! Harmonious Choir! Long 